I want to extend special thanks to the UN team as well as the 15 of the 18 participating Caribbean countries in which consultations were undertaken, culminating in the signing of this framework agreement. As you would have learned from the resident coordinator, the MSDF represents the United Nations corporate response to addressing the common development challenges of the sub-region. This approach can only redound to the benefit of the Caribbean, and Jamaica is assured, therefore, that the MSDF will draw on the complementarities and commonalities of priorities across the region. We are pleased to be joining our CARICOM sister state, Belize, as one of the first countries of the sub-region to sign on to and launch the UN Multicultural Country Sustainable Development Framework. There's a reason we call it MSDF. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, by signing this framework, the Government of Jamaica and the United Nations system are reaffirming their joint commitment to the implementation of the framework. Jamaica also recognizes that this multicultural approach acknowledges that in order to maximize the impact of de development efforts in this region, a more integrated and sustainable mechanism is required. The UN MSDF therefore presents itself as the most suitable instrument to address these common and interrelated development issues at both the regional and national levels over the next five years. It also represents an important springboard for achieving the objectives of the delivering as one mechanism, the governing framework and mandate for UN agencies being adopted in Jamaica. I commend, therefore, the 18 countries of the English and Dutch-speaking Caribbean and the United Nations for adopting this particular course of action. It is important and bears repeating that the priorities on which the framework will focus are an inclusive, equitable, and prosperous Caribbean, a healthy Caribbean, a safe, cohesive, and just Caribbean, and last but certainly not least, a sustainable and resilient Caribbean. This vision builds on the sustainable development goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which places people at the very center of the development process, with the eradication of extreme poverty being a major objective as cited, of course, in SDG 1. The framework reflects the new international development thrust of the 2030 Agenda, and especially for us, will contribute to the fulfillment of the SIDS Accelerated Modalities of Action, commonly known as the Samoa Pathway. This year marks the second anniversary of the new International Framework for Development, but the real impact will be made manifest only when we attain the goal of improving the lives of Jamaicans. Jamaica particularly welcomes the fact that the MSDF provides a common platform for development cooperation which is strongly rooted and linked to national priorities and our own National Development Plan, Vision 2030. Further, we're also pleased that the MSDF will be anchored in the CARICOM Strategic Plan for 2015 to 2019. In that regard, we note that the framework should, among other things, prompt a more coherent response from the UN to regional and national needs and priorities, increase regional capacity for implementation, monitoring and reporting, increase access to UN technical expertise from across the region, develop new modalities for cooperation and coordination among the UN system, governments, civil society and the private sector, and it will enable the region to maximize its use of limited resources.